622 back. Tai Chi foam rolling. All right, so let's have a seat. We're gonna work right with the back first today. Just mix up the order and go right to the back. And we're gonna rotate this back and forth on the back, up and down, mixing it up a little. And this time we're gonna get right up to our shoulder blades and just let the arm spread out so that roller's going right across the blades, right the extension of your arm like it was holding your arms up. Ah, you should feel a little discomfort. This expanding stuff, nice. All right, come back up, work that back, back and forth. Nice, up and down, rolling it. And now this one, we're gonna go right to the six and seven vertebrae down there. And I'll give you a little different angle here. Move it around a little bit. Just let it hang out there. And let your body stretch. You want to extend your arms over your head. If not, just relax there. If it's too much, bend your legs like this. So it's not too much. I mean, you should feel a little discomfort. There might be a couple hot spots there. Um, obviously, if it feels too intense, you want to bend those legs. You know, if you want to make it more intense, what do you do? Extend the leg. Alright? And you can switch it off a little bit. Or extend both legs. And keep breathing. Don't hold your breath while you're doing this. Keep breathing. Go up and do the arms. Let's switch it around here. Get some crazy orders here. Let's work that arm. Dig that blade right into it. And again, you can always go back and watch them again. Do them twice if you want. Might as well do them once a day at least. Or once a day, yeah, that'd be nice. And switch directions. And flip it the other way. Nice. Good, and switch. Side blade into it. And flip it down. And up. Nice, let's go to a leg now. Let's start, uh, last week we did, I believe, uh, higher things. Let's go lower and work our way back up again. So we're gonna go down a little part of the calf there. Remember foam rolling, if we do it for a short time and you wanna do it longer, do it, do it twice. Go back and do the routine again. Or, remember a little hot spot is not bad. Major pain is bad. Hot spot means discomfort. It means you're working muscles you don't realize that you've worked them. Okay, let's go up to the knee area. And let's go a little higher in the leg. Let's go up even a little higher where the glute hits. Okay, let's switch legs. Down to the calf. Looks like it might rain today. Real high humidity. Dark skies. <laughs> beautiful weekend we had. It was beautiful, but boy, was it humid, huh? I know, I know. Better than snow. Kids go a little higher on the leg, up where the knee is. Keep working that. 
and a little higher in the leg. Still not quite all the way up, just the other side of the knee, or the upper half of the leg. And let's go up to where the glute hits. Uh, you're gonna go on the side of your leg right here. Side of the leg. And that should trigger some hot spots. You should be like, wow, that doesn't feel good, Sensei. <laughs> that means you haven't worked in a while. You won't do it long, because I know it's gonna trigger some hot spots big time. Let's go to the other side. Okay, switch sides. I'm gonna rotate my body. See so you get another side angle. We're going down to your knee, up about your hip area almost. And this should be a little warm, triggery spot there. Nice. So again, if you want to do more foam rolling, go back, watch it again. Stay positive, stay healthy, Tai Chi. Chi, right. Have a great day.